Hey everyone, in the last video we discussed about some Pygame modules in brief. Now it's time we put that to use. We would try displaying some text on Pygame window. Let's get started. I have initialized Pygame as usual, set up the screen and then is the new part. I have used font module by Pygame. We have used sys font then, which takes in attributes like the font style, size of font, mentioning about the italics and bolds. It is an option here if you are mentioning about italics and bolds, uh, but you have to mention the font style and the size of font, otherwise you will get an error from sys font. If you do not mention about the italics and bolds, they are false by default. We have a lot of system fonts. Let's take a look at them. If you run this piece of code, pygame.fort.getfonts, you will get a list of all the fonts that are available in the system. Here it is, you can use any of these fonts to design your text. Firstly, I'll just walk you through the basic code. After that, we'll add some more functionalities. So after creating a font object, I declared a text variable which would create a new surface with given text rendered on it. I hope you get this. It would create a new surface with given text rendered on it. Then we call the rect class object to see the text on Pygame window. Last time we discussed the rect class in detail. I hope you get, understand what is happening over here. Then is the infinite loop. You will fill the screen with some random color. Use split from surface class to get the text and text rect on the window. That is to draw text on text rect. Okay. After that, we have event in pygame.events which updates and runs the given command until we quit. Okay. So let's run this and see what we get. So on running this code, this is what we get. We have the text at the extreme left of the screen. But what if I need it in the center of the screen? So let me change a little bit of it and see if I can bring the text in the center. For that, we have text rect dot center. So I brought the rectangle surface to the center by using this method. And I have specified the coordinates as the center of the screen. I the the size of the screen is 500 by 500, so I've divided it by 2 and we get to the center. Let's run this now and see what we get. Voila, we have the text at the center. Now let's see what else we can do. We can set a caption to the Pygame window. We use pygame.display.setCaption. We can also underline the text that we have by font.set underscore underline as true and let's run it and see what we get we have an underlined text and we have the caption pygame text cool uh, this was one program now let's try and move this text along the different axes on the window for that, I have written a little code. First, I have initialized Pygame, then the screen with size 500, 500. Then I have declared the font object with style times new Roman and size 30. Variable letter is used to render the so created font object. Then I have declared a variable i that decides the speed of the text, how fast the text changes its coordinates. Please note that right now I am moving the word along x axis only. So entering the game loop now, there is a condition if i is greater than 500, that is the length of the screen, please see that the length of the screen is 500. When i is greater than 500, i is equal to 0. We make i equal to 0. This means once the text has traversed complete length of the screen, we want to see it appearing from left again. And the time gap, gap between this action is of 5 milliseconds. I have done this using the time module of pygame. So pygame.time.wait500 gives a gap of 5 milliseconds between these two actions. Then comes the win.fill. So I have colored the background wi white with fill. Now comes the tricky part, uh, rather not tricky part, 
but you would need to visualize it a little. So here in Blit, we have used the font object and rect class object always. But this time I have taken no rect class object as you can see, but I have given coordinates i comma zero, which shows the origin because i is equal to zero for right now. Um, so that gives me the origin, the extreme left upper corner of the screen. Once this runs, i is increased by 80. So you must infer that larger i gives more speed as this is what is giving the difference between two consecutive spots of the text. Okay. Please try to visualize this. And again, there is a wait of 5 milliseconds after we run this event loop uh, between the appearance of the text at two consecutive positions. There is a wait of 5 milliseconds. Uh, I have given a wait, otherwise we won't be able to visualize the text moving. It would move in a flash. So let's see this running. Uh, let's see what we get and how this text moves across the screen along x-axis. So now let's run this and see how the text moves along the x-axis. Yes, so this is how it moves along the x-axis. We can also move it along the y-axis. For that, I would need to interchange these two coordinates. I would make it 0 comma i now. So it would move along the left side of the screen. So let's run it and see if it moves along the left side. So yeah, it does run. Okay, cool. Uh, you can even think about how we can make this text move along the bottom of the screen or along the right side of the screen. For that, you might need to change the zero to something else, uh, maybe the size of the screen, the y or the x-axis. So think about it. And uh, this was pretty much it for this video. Thank you.